Have you ever noticed how concert pianists often are fidgeting those two knobs at the ends of their bench? You turn those knobs to get the bench higher and lower, just right. And, it, and, those, and there's just a tremendous amount of friction in, in all the mechanism inside that bench. So they, they wear out their hands, moving that bench up higher and lower, trying to get it just right. And then they play their piece, but they do a terrible job because they're just, their hands are all worn out from raising and lowering the piano bench. And then when they did it, they weren't sure they got it right anyway. It's a big problem in, in the piano world. Here's the knob I'm talking about. You have to turn this thing, and it's really hard to turn. So, over here, on this side, I replaced the knob on this side and put in this device here that has a motor hooked up to it and a computer control device here that tells you exactly how high the bench is and you can set the height that you want it to go to. So this is the up and down switch. So if I just flick it on for a moment, it tells you how high it is. And so if you hold it down, it'll lower that number one by one millimeter, let's say to 460, and it will move there. And once it gets there, it will stop and then turn off again. And if you hold it, let's say in the up direction, it will um, raise the number so it'll go up to 479, and you see these dots are going to the right, which means it was going up. Then it tells you it turns off at the end. It also tells you if uh, the battery's low. You can even sit on it while it's doing its thing, although it struggles a little bit. So what's inside? There's just a big motor here and the worm drive. And then instead of the knob, we have a big gear there. So when the thing operates, it, uh, it turns the, the knob as needed, and then it stops. And here's the uh, printed circuit board that has all the electronics that makes this thing work. Here's the view underneath with the battery. So thanks to this device, now pianists will not have to struggle with getting their bench at the right height. They'll know exactly what height they need and how to get there. Oh, I forgot one thing. How do we measure this thing initially to calibrate it? Well, you have to use the standard rear end. You put it on the bench, right about where a person would sit, and then you apply at least 50 pounds of force onto the piece of plywood and get it level, and then you measure the height from the ground to the bottom of the board. That way, no matter how soft or hard the bench is, you'll always get your rear end at the right position. Oh, by the way, thanks to uh, Dan and Joel and Taj for helping out uh, with the circuit board and, and machining some of the adapters and assembling some of the parts.